Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where I'm just taking a moment to bask in the absolutely amazing, glorious existence that is Topaz, our golden pig bunny crossbreed. I'm still really amazed that we ended up creating Topaz. I, I'm not exactly sure what I think about like how the breeding of a pig and a bunny went, but this is definitely, definitely a fantastic outcome and gets me very excited to see what our other curious crossbreeds might one day become. So welcome back to the chaos. I am trying very hard to figure out like where to kind of guide our zoo from here and like where the best course of action might be to try to take care of everything. We have a lot of stinky animals. We have a whole bunch of work <gasps> going on in the CRISPR where the cross between the capybara and the bunny is now ready to be collected. What the heck? All right, we've, <gasps> we've got him, a rabbi bar. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna put the Rabibara right over here. Dead bored? Wait, what? Animals without enough enrichment become so bored it actually it's depression. Signs that these animals are in a bad way include pacing backwards and forwards in their prison sales, I mean enclosures, and higher than normal sleep patterns. In very bad cases, this depression can lead to early deaths as the stress put on the animal is huge. One such event happened at the zoo today. The zoo has pledged to try harder in the future. And now, for now, let's trust them to it. <gasps> what? I just had an animal die of boredom? I'm not okay with that. I am totally not okay with that, friends. All right, we're gonna have to make sure that our animals are very, very entertained. Also, welcome in the bunny Bara, the rabbi Bara, oh my gosh. Chavaz, Chavaz, you are amazing. Um, we have the black market dealer just kind of like roaming around right now, trying to sell us a Mercanda, which is a murky and a panda. We're gonna go ahead and report him so that hopefully like he won't be passing away any other weird animals um and we're gonna see what's going on okay death there's a lot of death unfortunately <laughs> oh my gosh there's so much death <laughs> what is our undertaker doing oh my goodness okay Bara, i know that you have a really hard job your work ethic is kind of low right now and it won't really go up even if I pay you above market rate. Um, and you can only hire one undertaker at a time. I'm gonna see if we can actually go ahead. All right, guys, I don't think Farah is managing it. Like work ethic has really gone down. Level 23, like even if we gave them a big bonus, I don't think this is gonna go well. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pay them their severance. And then we're going to very, very, very quickly go ahead and quick hire somebody new who has really good work ethic. All right, Jean, work ethic, great. We'll go ahead and pay you like uh, somewhat above market rate, I'm hoping. And then Jean it is just going to be very busy. Let's level 18, but hopefully with the work ethic being higher, it will mean that they're definitely going to be doing a little bit more work uh, and chugging along because we have a lot of dead animals apparently. Winnie! Oh, I remember Winnie. So the Undertaker is on their way to take care of Winnie. Thank goodness. Um, Topaz also died from thirst. It went six days without water. <gasps> That's horrible. How could that have happened? Oh my gosh. All right. We've got to get rid of some of our geese, guys. Like, this is terrible. How did our animals not have enough water? Oh my goodness. Okay, that makes me really sad. <laughs> I thought it was just like old age that got them, but apparently the deaths we've been having are related to a dangerous shortage of water that the animals need. So now they finally have enough water. Let's go ahead and quick feed, quick buy some of their food. Um, there's 40 geese. Do we have 40 geese in here? Because that's too many. Like Rosa, I love you, but we're going to donate you. Like what the heck? How do we have so many? All right, let's just go through. I know we were keeping some of these geese to like unlock more of the genes, but I mostly wanted the fancy tailed geese. So we're gonna grab a few of you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and donate you. Have we unlocked all of the geese? Cause I, I remember we were working really, really hard on trying to unlock all of the geese. Let's donate a whole bunch of these animals. 
<laughs> oh, there's so many deaths everywhere. I don't want to track the dead anymore, but we are going to try to like figure out what's happening there. That's not good. Um, there's a pen without animals that we need to take care of. There's more low water for a bunch of our animals. Okay, so we're going to take care of the low water thing today. And I'm going to try to stay a little focused on some of our other tasks. And actually, this is a bit ironic, but the fact that we have low water actually slides in very well with the fact that we can now unlock the small desert plant pack. Woo! I'm going to go ahead and do that so we can get a little bit closer to the unlock that we need for what I think might be one of these facilities. And unlocking the last of the facility packs will actually go ahead and allow us to have two more additional chambers in the CRISPR splicer, which would be really important. All right, and while we're working on taking care of all of the different animals that we're trying to <laughs> maintain and tend to today, let's also crossbreed some more things. Or should I do some clones? We are trying to clone our tortoises so that fingers crossed we can get a female tortoise. Um, but I would really love to have more chickens. <laughs> more chickens crossbred with something. What's our most popular animal? Let's see, 70% monkeys. We have some boars. We have discovered all of the snake and all of the goose genome so we can actually release them without too many worries. Oh, we have a new Kiviabara genome, yes! Actually, that's a good question. I am somewhat curious because does the fame, like the fame of the different animals gets inherited, right? And Capybara are actually like a level four animal. So if we do crossbreed the Capybara, oh, the week's expenses are coming in. We could probably do much better. I will try harder. <laughs> Income is really down. A lot of animals are dying. We need to take care of that. There's just a lot going on. <gasps> Wait, 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 putting things together. Thanks for building the CRISPR facility. Let's help each other out. We would like to use your facility to test hybrid creations. So we need to do a capybara and a pig or a snake and a rabbit. All right, capybara and pig. I didn't want to have that mix. I wanted to choose a different mix. However, we got kind of forced into it. Now with our rabibara, it has inherited the rabbit fame. So maybe what we should focus on for future splicing is trying to take two of the most popular animals and splicing them together. So we'll examine that. But for now, let's actually work on perhaps <laughs> working our way through some of the water issues that we have with everybody. And also working our way through, uh, let's see, all right, we're gonna need to add more water facilities on this side, I think, so that the animals can have lower welfare rating. Uh, Yay, we're gonna work harder on our welfare, I promise. All right, let me get a new amenities water pump. We're gonna get a new water pump in here. And then let me get a new tall tree. Oh, how I wish I could like just clone things with the tall tree, but alas, I cannot. You have to come in manually. I'm sure like the devs for this game are so dedicated. And on top of it, I'm sure we'll have some upgrades in no time. All right, for our space, we have ins insufficient space now. A horse has now passed away. Bobby! Okay, let's call the animal undertaker <laughs> to really get on that. Um, and what I really wanna do is start donating some of the animals. So let's come through in a whole bunch of our younger chickens who are males. Let's see. Yeah, we'll come in. Bobby, Nero, I'll try to leave a few. In fact, maybe I should go into the conservation thing because it's a little easier to go ahead and work from there. Maybe Crystal or Goober. Yeah, what we might do is I'll do like a quick run through like this of releasing a lot, but hopefully not all of our male chickens. And then we will, there we go. And we might do the same for some of our cows, because now that we have a few of our cows, I don't think, yeah, here's Rocket the cow. I'm trying to crossbreed Rocket, right? So if Rocket has one of these males over here, do we have a male? That is, yes, Chance! All right, let's move Chance over here with Rocket. That area would now become too full. Uh, I think I can actually come in and... Let's see. 
I'm trying to breed up the horses, right? So breed more variant, breed more to discover these variants. Hmm. So where are one of my breeding houses? Let me check. I need to check my, my paperwork about the research that can be done for trying to get to these special horses. Let's see. So there's one more variant and we need to have those types of horses. So let's get that going. Sky and Tucker are now going to try to create that mystery variant. There we go. Did that pull the horse from here? It did not. Interesting. So that means I need Coco to be mixed with a tan horse. So let's look for one of the tan horses. That's a male. All right. Pork chop. <laughs> what an appropriate name. So we're going to move pork chop down here. And now I'm going to come in and we're actually going to take, let's see. Oh, Tux was just born. Welcome little Tux. So we don't need Jose in here anymore. So we're going to go ahead and Jose will donate. And then Vava will donate. And then Tux will donate to a good home who's going to take that whole family. And now we have Pork Chop. Now we have Coco. Now we have Tata, Chance, and Rocket, um, and Topaz all hanging out in here. And that will give us, hopefully, fingers crossed, the new cow breed that we're going for. And also the, okay, cows are not very popular, unfortunately. And also, fingers crossed, the new horse breed that we're going for. Because we are trying to discover more variants of horses. Phew! Okay. So while our head was down, trying our best to take care of that, let's also come over here. <laughs> and we're going to uh, check on our chickens. All right. What is the newest chicken that we need? All right. You guys go ahead and return. Because I guess one of you guys got too old. Do you want indefinite return to enclosure? What happened? Are you guys just... I think Sawyer is maybe too old. Is that the is that the thing? All right, chickens. All right, we need a new type of chicken, which means we need the oh, we have the skinny chicken. Oh, it's so cute. All right, we've got the little skinny chicken. So we need the fluffy chicken and the brown chicken mixed together, and that will potentially give us this new chicken. So I do want the new chicken, which means that we're going to come in here and we're going to actually donate pretty much all the males. I'll keep one of the males, maybe. Yeah, Pugsley. And then we'll keep some of the younger ones. Sawyer can stay. And all the other males except for the fluffy chickens can go. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we can actually add a bunch of the female chickens uh, in here, I think. Unless, do I have, I think, yeah, it's maxed out. So we could have another place to make more eggs. We have a lot of eggs. We have 40 eggs. How am I going to use those eggs? <laughs> okay, so I could go ahead and buy a new area, but I don't think I need $90,000 expense. Oh, do pipe die was back. Welcome. All right. And then I don't think we need like $90,000 in chickens. So... We need Whiskey, one of the brown chickens, and we need Gringo, one of the fluffy chickens. So all of these other chickens, who are actually like the gray coloration, can either get moved or they can get donated. And we have a whole bunch of females, huh? Okay, Bucky stays. Whiskey stays. Fiona stays. And then we'll move them over here. There's enough room for the chickens to add a little bit of fame over here. Excellent. Managing, juggling my hens is very hard. And we have a new cow? Wait, we have a tradable cow. Sawyer, apparently you're a tradable variant. To whom? Like, what could I trade you for? All right, let's see. <gasps> fluffy chicken equals red pandas. Are you kidding? Okay, we're going to donate one of those fluffy chickens like immediately. <gasps> the platypus. We can finally get the platypus. Oh, that's my sister's favorite animal. I have been desperately... Oh my gosh, there's a tortoise. I have been desperately trying to get our hands on a platypus for ages. What the heck? Okay, so Sawyer is a super important cow, and I didn't even realize how important. Um, all of that said, I do need to go ahead, and we do 
probably need to like get a few less chickens <gasps> and we have a new variant of duck that just got born yes okay all right let's sort through some of our chickens <laughs> i need some of the female chickens there we go oakley like you so now we actually need any of the female brown chickens there you go oakley and lou will do jaguar and then there's wally and coco who are the new type of chicken which is kind of cool and they're going to come in here with the male that one male and then we're going to go ahead and just move fiona and bucky out of the way so that there we go we focus on that phew <laughs> so much going on okay so that kind of takes care of our chickens for just a moment we still need a lot of the animals need more water i believe it is time to go ahead and admit that we're doing good on the horse breeding let's check the breeding logs so what we really want on the new horse breeding are kind of what we have set to the side so let me I kind of, it's very useful to have an empty breeding slot. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. And we have a new baby on the way. Okay. So knowing that, I think we can go ahead and let's actually release to the wild a bunch of our horses, of courses. And we're going to do it by some of our older ones. We'll do, let's see. Basically some of the older ones and I'll try to leave one of each type. Maybe well We don't really need the brown horses at the moment. So all right, we're gonna release those guys off into the yonder Um, yeah, we don't really need any of the brown horses. I just hesitate to like remove all of them But you know what we're gonna go really we're gonna go all in on trying to breed these horses properly So let's just do it. Also. I don't think we need so many porcupines <laughs> So let me go ahead and sort by variant and then we're going to keep I think one of each variant type and otherwise I'm gonna release the porcupines because I think that's just way too many porcupines All right, we'll keep the younger ones Release there we go And I think that that is actually gonna significantly help us and the chickens who doesn't like just having a bunch of random chickens being adopted out into the wild I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Oh, it's totally gonna be fine. All right, let's see. We'll grab a few of these guys and then Miller, Tiki, Miller can can go. And I think that that will actually help us out a lot with the chicken situation too. Also, how's the pigs? Population currently increasing. Let's see. I, I'm so glad we can now sort by variants because this is all oh, Chewy the elderly. This is helping me so much just make some decisions on like who stays, who goes. Uh, there's Bug, Tippy, Skylar. Oh, Pearl, the cake. Oh my gosh. And Boomer, our golden pig. Oh, I wish Boomer would make more babies. All right. Yay. All right. This is actually helping a lot, I think, with being able to start managing our populations a lot more aggressively. I've been playing in a way where it's like, oh, yay, look at all the babies. Yay. Look at all the animals we have. But now it's like, oh, you really want to stay on top of not letting too many variants pop in because otherwise things get really complicated really fast. There we go. So, and then there we go. Now we don't have all of those issues that we were just dealing with, with water. Because I'm finally being, oh, look at Spot, 123. <laughs> okay, I, I would adore keeping as many normal capybara as possible. However, we are indeed trying to get the rarer variants now, which means I probably need to put my foot down just a little bit just a little bit on some of our capybara. Oh, even though I really don't want to. <gasps> Ivy, we do have a new type of capybara. Oh, let's go see. Look at that, but that took care of the water issues. Gosh, that's really important, you guys. Just making sure that all the animals are taken care of. And how are our little capybara doing? So we do have somewhere, oh, there it is. Ivy the capybara. Oh, you look so good, Ivy. I love her. I think she's stuck because somebody rolled a ball in her face. Well, hang in there, Ivy. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Actually, I do think she's stuck because somebody rolled a ball in her face. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, edit, edit, edit. Move. No, not the whole enclosure. Oh, for crying out loud. All right. All right. Uh, add objects. Let's do enrichment. Can I just pick it up? I wish I could just pick it up. All right, she's fine. She crawled into the thing. The keepers are cleaning the capybara area. Uh, how dare somebody leave trash? How dare you? I try so hard to make it so people will actually maintain this place. All right, we'll put down this and a recycling bin. Fingers crossed people will treat this area a little better. I'm gonna put in a water pump. Ooh, and we have the new zoo standy. Oh, that's adorable. All right, and we do have the little arcs that people can walk through, I believe. I'm gonna put a couple of those over here so that people can enjoy. Um, and then maybe I'll actually put in like a nice bench back here. Cause come on, people need to enjoy our capybara. I think that's kind of important. All right, we'll put one right there. Then I'm gonna have a nice tree hide the water. I think what I love so much about this is that you can just sink into the vibe of there is so much to take care of and there is so much to just like spruce a little up here, spruce a little up there, that you can just get really content to kind of just flow into it over and over and over again. And before you know it, like so much time has passed, but you've like made tiny improvements. Ticket price, ticket price. Ticket price too low, I'm on it. <laughs> Cause there's just infinite things to go ahead and start tweaking. All right, let's try 36. Oh, what the ever loving heck is going on here? <gasps> what? Who's protesting? Why? What are their demands? And get our enrichment, so, but I have already submitted, like my animals are happier than you wanted. They didn't even know what they wanted, guys. They didn't even know. They literally were like, yeah, I'm protesting because your animals aren't happy. I was like, okay, how happy do you want them to become? They're like, oh, wait, they're as happy as we wanted. Never mind. You people, honestly. All right, and then something is blocked over here. That is just so silly. And then we're going to move the gate. Maybe that'll fix it. Yay, an employee leveled up. There's literally nothing to be blocked in here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Maybe that'll do it. Yay! All right, I think handling the chicken chaos was actually one of the most important things we could have done to make things a little bit nicer. Um, I think for the most part, oh, boots! Oh, we're, we're having less animals die now and our new high work ethic undertaker is actually doing a great job trying to make sure they stay on top of everything. Died from thirst! Oh, I just can't let this happen anymore. How are you dying from thirst all the time, little ones? There we go. Let's get you more water. Oh, maybe that'll help. Let's go ahead and give our our undertaker, I'm going to give him a bonus because I kind of just like threw them into this big, this big, we're going to give them a huge bonus because we threw them into like this huge situation and they're just doing their absolute best and they're just the queue is huge they're just going through and taking care of all these poor animals that died <laughs> the workload is super high but we're doing something oh well all right guys let's go ahead and check in on how many of our points we can use to see if we're getting closer to expanding our crisper we can either do the temple pack or the sunday shop i feel like we should do sundays because I feel like we've earned it. Oh, and we still need to save up for the temple bathroom now. Dang it. I was hoping that we would have like a diagonal expansion, but that was not the case. Uh, and then, oh, large natural water basins. Linking a basin. Oh my gosh. Optimize water delivery and increase water and basin by 50%. Okay, we're going to have to unlock that next time. Like we're going to fix the dry, dry desert of death that we have been having and we're going to make it so our animals are content and not so dead. Oh dear, there goes another one. <laughs> it's just the cycle of life, nobody worry. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for joining me on this absolutely chaotic day. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely little zoo. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.